Welcome back to another day here on the Winter's Lorcana channel. Today we're playing something a little dragony. This is a deck that was brought to my attention by a member of the Discord, Laura. Thank you for posting this because I'm super excited to try it. I have changed your list a little bit to uh, try some new stuff. Uh, there is a Maui shark in here and there was a lot of lore stuff. I kept gathering knowledge and wisdom, but since I've tried the Maui bit, thing already I've swapped some of those cards out this deck is for me anyway looking to use and abuse Sisu uniting dragon four costs uninkable three three quests for two whenever this character quests reveal the top card of your deck if it's a dragon character card put it into your hand and repeat this effect Otherwise, put it either on the top or the bottom of your deck. For me, I just want to play this card and then use the ability. That is my goal. I want to just use the ability and I want I want to try to get three, four cards. Five would be crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of dragons in the deck to make it work. So we have four copies of Little Sisu, four copies of Emboldened Warrior Sisu. These are all dragons, by the way. So that's eight dragons. Assume we've played the one, so we'll only count three of these because we're going to need one in play. Uh, so that's that's 11 dragons. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 dragons that this Sisu could feasibly find. We're never going to do 22 off of one roll, but that would be insane. <laughs> I am running the boss is on a roll. I know the bottom cards always get cut off for you guys. It's a three cost action song. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Put any number of them on the top or the bottom of your deck in any order. Lore. This is a great card that combos well with Maui because it's, it's gaining a lore plus Maui then gains you the additional additional lore. Maui can go get this back to do it, but also it combos with this Sisu because we get to just tailor the top of our deck so we ideally get this down and then the following turn we play the bosses on a roll whether we can sing it or not with another character and then cushion the top ideally the top five cards would be great but you know we'll, we'll, we'll see but hopefully we should guarantee a few hits with sisu here that's really the whole game that's that's the game plan there's a couple of questionables in here there's a lumi air I can see Lumiere and Flynn maybe working together. Maybe that's why Lumiere is in here. I haven't seen Lumiere really be effective so much outside of actually anything. <laughs> I haven't really seen Lumiere perform well at all. So yeah, questionable, but excited to give it a go. Madam Mim Purple Dragon. I've always wanted to play this card. A big 5-7 evasive quests for four. Yes, please. That sounds phenomenal. It's hard to get to stick though, so <laughs> we, we will see. The only thing the deck doesn't do is it doesn't cheat the dragons out. So that is still something that we will have to hard cast, unfortunately. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's jump in and see if we can't win a few. Okay, gets to go first. That's nice. I do like to hit the random button. Occasionally, I will, I will choose a go first, go second. So when I see that I go first and I'm surprised by it, that's because I've I've selected randomly with you know who's gonna go first or not. Just click the random button, it'll be fine. Alright, we are looking for Sisu. Specifically. That Sisu. I'm gonna keep Rafiki so I have a turn one play, and I'm gonna keep bosses on roll because that's what's gonna combo really well with the Sisu. Outside of that, throw it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> This is what this is the this is not how this is supposed to go. I can tell already. Uh okay. <laughs> All of the Rafikis, Turnabox followers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not the way that this was meant to be played. Uh here we go. Let's see. Can anything be taken from me? Yes. That can. Okay. Let's play you let us quest and uh, let's see where are they ink the ink to Maleficent okay. 
I will pass it the turn. There it is. Ursula. Ha ha. Dodged that bullet, didn't we? Hmm. The uh, timing of the Flynn. Not particularly ideal. But look at this. I actually get a quest with everything because Ursula is kind of a chump. Now, we, we could, in theory, get, get foxed. Oh, I should, oh, I was supposed to pop the Chernabog. Son of a gun. Now they get to freely take it out. I was too distracted by being able to quest. I forgot. I was, I was meant to exchange you for a card. Okay. But well, we gained the lore, which is nice. This Flynn is still a powerhouse compared to the Ursula. <laughs> Let's get rid of the Ursula. I can safely quest. I will ink you, play you, pass the turn. Okay. So this isn't going how we wanted. <laughs> Obviously, I got a board and opponent's playing very slowly, so it's fine. That's not fine. It's fine. They're gonna get some oh, I've got no ink. Such a massive delay for me. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It continues to be okay. Let us play you. And then I will just simply quest because <laughs> uh, this game is over. And argument, I could have left Flynn alone, in which case he would have just automatically won me the game, but they're pretty much going to have to board bite me to not lose. And then that's just game. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Not what I wanted. Let's, uh, let's, I'm not even going to cut it. I'm not even going to cut it. We're just going to restart the game. I'm going second. I'm going second. There's no cut here. There's the CC I'm looking for. Okay. Let's see if we can't get her to stick. I really don't need three gathering knowledge of this. Uh, don't need an expensive card. I do like this, but... Let's actually send everything back that's not Sisu. Okay. Alright, this this looks this looks good. This looks good. Uh let's ink you. Let's play Rafiki. Let's pass the turn. Inking and Maleficent. Playing Maleficent staff. Probably looking to bounce my stuff. A. Eh? Uh ink you. I have no turn two plays, but we can safely quest. Okay, that's a decent start. Okay, one boss down. I mean, I do got to turn three play and it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. Okay. And another safe quest. Fast turn. Next turn we get Sisu online and the following turn is when things go crazy. Uh, I, I so want to brawl you, but you can't affect this. And it's suicide to bounce. They will bounce CC, but it's suicide to bounce CC because this guy just guarantees takes this out. And they can't bounce this one. It's too expensive. Uh, it is, however, safe to quest. I could have saying friends with Sisu. But instead, uh, I wanted to keep the cards there because they might be dragons. <laughs> there it is. There's the bounce. I told you they would do it. They shouldn't because this just automatically kills that now. Very, very bad for them. However, I'm going to actually play bosses on a roll. Here we go. The combo's coming. So you're not a dragon, you're not a dragon, and you're not a dragon. You both are. So you'll stay on top. So we're guaranteed to draw both of those. <laughs> okay, I like that. And then we quest. Now let's make sure the system works. Goes in my hand. Goes in my hand. And a whiff. Dang. Well, uh, on the bottom of your deck? Yes. Put it on the bottom. I don't want to draw it. And then, should I? 
I mean, they probably want to quest with this. Yeah, let's quest. All right, pass the turn. Okay, that was pretty cool. I did like that. I like that. We drew two cards off that. Nice little bosses on the roll combo. During opponent's turn, whenever one of your other characters is banished, gain two lore. During an opponent's turn. So if my character dies on my... Or if, one, if I kill their characters, he gains two lore. That's effectively all it says. Is if I attack his stuff, he gains lore. Okay. How do I take you out? I don't, do I? I don't have a I don't have a strength reduction effect. So this is the only way to take you out. Hmm. <laughs> I think they're gonna gain four lore, because I think I'm gonna defeat both of these. <laughs> uh let's start by inking. And I have no way to manipulate the top of the deck. Look at all these dragons in my hand. This is nice. <laughs> uh, let's quest. Oh, there's a dragon. That's not a dragon. Uh, bottom of the deck. Yes. Okay, drew me another card. And it's while questing, too. So it's like, you're doing stuff you want to do anyway. And they gain two lore. And then I'm going to play Brawl. And then they gain two lore. Hades actually doing some work there. They didn't challenge with it though. I mean, I have to swing into it. I have to double swing into it if I want to get rid of it. It's one of one of your other characters. Your other characters, yeah. Okay, so I could safely take it out. Or I could do something else. Oh, multiple Sisus doing their thing is kind of nasty, isn't it? Well, let's start by questing with one, see if I draw any additional dragons. Now, that's a dragon. Uh, bottom of the deck, yes. We've been really good at hitting dragons. Okay, so maybe there are just enough dragons in the game. It's Sisu primarily, but still, enough dragons in the game to actually make it work. Uh, let's ink you. Let's play another one. Let's get you down. And we will quest. Now I got double Sisu for dragons. Oh, we're getting the challenge now. They, they're like, two Sisus looking for dragons? No way. <laughs> uh, I could brawl this down, but we want to take that out first. So I will do that. Let's just straight up challenge here. And then I will brawl another Sisu. Okay. We're figuring it out. Uh, bottom of the deck. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. All right. And then we're just lethal on board. I, I'm, I'm like hyper focusing on just making these work that it's, it's not realistic, but that's why we're here. Ooh, take a dragon. Ooh, take a dragon. I think I still think the best we've done is two dragons. I want to beat that record. <laughs> I could play bosses on a roll. The game is going to be over. Okay. Super cool. I like the option too that we can keep it on top. Like if I wanted to have that Maui shark, it doesn't have to just disappear. Okay. I think we got an idea of this deck. Let's jump into the next one. Oh, going second. Okay. That's fine. Oh my goodness. That's this is fine but that's fine um do i try the lumiere thing it seems so wild and chaotic yeah <laughs> it's wild and chaotic and probably really bad i just want to try it okay let's ink let's play rafiki and pass the turn A uh, daisy duck, okay. Blue, yellow, aggro. Here we go. Let's ink you. I tell you what, though, Lumiere and Rafiki, 
Daisy kind of just dies to that. That's pretty stellar, actually. Hit you with the old one, two. Daisy's knocked out. Let's see if they'll link again, though. Yeah, I'll take that. Don't forget to- you got a second ink? Yeah, there you go, Booter. You figured it out. Oh, well, I got a Sisu now. <laughs> I have a Sisu. I really want to throw Rafiki, though. I know that's not the right play. That is definitely the incorrect play, but just the mere fact that... I mean, Rafiki does take out Daisy is hilarious. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Part of me wants to just play another Lumiere and a Chernobox followers and then do the attack. But then my ink choices aren't that great. Because otherwise, I think I would ink this and play Sisu. Oh. Ah, oh, let's do Lumiere. Let's do it. Okay, my ink choices aren't that great. I guess we're going to lose a Lumiere. Look at that. Rafiki swinging for five. <laughs> okay. That's pretty fun. I haven't really seen Lumiere, like, actually be good or relevant. But the old one, two into a daisy, there's a little relevance to that. Okay. Has to be one strength or less. So you're not taking out Simba. think hmm let's draw some cards okay okay thank you play you quest 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 and i th i will trade the chernabog I mean, the Chernobog's swinging for four. I guess I should have... I don't know. Maybe I should have given up the Rafiki. Three poop sickles. My goodness. All, right, all opponents missing is Chip and Dale. That's all they need. Okay, how do I... I don't take down Donald. I just don't. Unless I play a big, strong character. Oh, but I really want Maui. I really want to play a Maui. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll set up for a hopeful Maui. Yeah, let's just play you. We're just gonna we're just gonna go all in on this. Okay, I only need one Lumiere to survive for Rafiki to take out Donald. Uh, yeah, leave it up. Oh, they got the Chippendale. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> they got the Chippendale. That is that is the card they're looking for. No, I needed an ink, you fool. All right, give me an ink. Give me an ink. Yes, thank you. Get us a Sharky Boy down. A 9-5 Sharky Boy. <laughs> All right, get rid of you. They can get it back, which is crazy. Uh, we're just going to quest all here. <laughs> we're going to win the game off the back of Maui for sure. But yeah, just, it's just, they, all they do is they ink and then they have... Okay, no ink. They didn't get it back. What I would have done if I was them, I definitely I probably would have inked Piglet. Got Donald back. Play Donald. Donald then re-inks. Gets something else back. Simba for the bodyguard. Then you can safely quest. Or even a daisy. Yeah. I, there, there's definitely other routes to have gone there. Uh, Well, we could very easily get rid of the piglet. Got a challenge here, which is nice. The downside is Maui would die. So it's still only two lore then, but that's still better than, I mean, I'm questing for 
four here, right? Five, six. I'm already lethal. I just shift this out and quest all. But I, I want to use Maui. I, <laughs> I want to win with Maui. Okay, let's uh, let's play you. I mean, you are just lethal. Gathering's not a song, so I can't even play it this turn. Bah humbug. I guess we're just questing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> dragons. The Lumiere's. The Lumiere's really being making this game fun. I like that. I like that a lot. Hey, hey, go one first. Okay, what do we got here? I do have a turn one into a Flynn turn two. I also already have the Sisu I need. Let's put the dragon back. I want to increase my odds of drawing additional cards. Plus, it's really expensive. Like, there's multiple reasons to put you back, but also, increase your, increase your chances of this drawing a lot of cards. <laughs> Anything else? No, I don't think so. Wrong Sisu. I was just thinking if I had the three drop Sisu with the that increases its strength. That's that one would have would have been ideal. Alright, let's put you down. Let's get a Rafiki. Ink Donald first mate. Okay, Emerald Amber. Hey, there's the Lumiere. We're already much stronger. Well, which is great. Hmm. Brawl could be good. I think this CC is going to be a powerhouse here. Get the Flynn boy. Let's quest. Oh, let's pass the turn. Man, with as lucky as we've been getting, being able to just straight up quest with Rafiki consistently has been wild. All right, we're not going to get the Flynn trigger. However, I could play Lumiere and we can guarantee it. Or I can ink Lumiere, play Brawl. Either way, I need to ink. And I would like to play something. However, these are my only two inks right now. <laughs> uh, I would really like to play both, if I'm honest. I'm not going to play both, but I would like to play both. I don't think there's any chance that... Piglet will be attacking Rafiki, but we'll see if they do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret this is what I'm gonna do. Alright, clear the board. I have no ink to ink now, so we are a little bit at the mercy of the top of our deck. Don't make me regret it. Ha ha! Never didn't have it. Uh, whenever a character is challenged while here, each opponent chooses and discards a card. That's disgusting. Uh, I'm going to challenge this. <laughs> Alright, next turn Rafiki takes it out. Alright, now what do you got? A Donald of the Duck. While you have a captain, he gains additional lures. Uh, well first we're going to challenge. Take you out. We're definitely going to quest here. Got a dragon. Got a dragon. Didn't get a dragon. Uh, bottom of the deck? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's bin ya. Let's see. I only have one ink, so we're going to ink it. And I could play... I already have Sisu in play, but that's not a Sisu I want to shift onto. I could play this Sisu. And then set up to take out two characters, possibly three characters. Yeah, it's it's sad. It doesn't hit anything, but it's fine. Okay. You're gonna challenge us, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Got the ink. Let's quest. <laughs> Let's see how many dragons I can get. I know I already win though. Like, oh, I got none. Bottom of the deck. You poopy. 
All right, we'll shift you out and then quest, and then the game's over. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, it's still... It, it's fast. Like, our games, I've just now noticed, like, four and a half minutes. That's quick. I don't know if there's some, like, luck involved or what, but... It seems to be pretty smooth. It doesn't feel particularly combo-y or strong. It feels like my opponent's struggling is what it feels like, but... Let's jump into another one. Let's see. Go in second. Okay, so I've chosen what used to be a good deck. It might still be a good deck. It's but it's not updated for set six. Just to kind of see. Getting a weird getting a weird vibe from this deck. Alright, let's put you back. Let's put you back. Let's put you back. I do like this Sisu. And the brawls at the very least ink. Alright, let's do it. Keeping the uninkables, it's a little sketchy. <laughs> uh, ink to hear him, and then play to popsicle. That's wild. Sorry, you are way too big. You're the easiest. You're the easiest ink I've ever seen. Gaston. All right. Well, we do trade, but only trade if you can turn sideways, and you will never turn sideways. <laughs> Can't brawl it. Can't see sue it. Can't big see sue it. But I feel like I need to get another one down. Quest. Let him take him out and then trade. It's a two for one. It's the only way to get the gas on off the board safely. Another way, because I don't want trading with this. All right. Let's hope I don't have to deal with another gas on. But now it does have to attack. Dang, dang, dang. They're just going to keep their whole board. Yeah, I walked right into that, didn't I? Oh, this isn't great. I have, like, no fantastic follow-ups. Play Sisu to take out Sisu. And then she can sing next turn. Assuming they don't play another Sisu. Visions, okay. I'm pretty sure I just saw Tamatoa. <laughs> it's not great about not showing me stuff, is it? All right, well, Maui trades with both of them, which is fine. Uh, I will sing this. We are looking for ink, ironically, so I could have just inked it. But there we go. I'm much more comfortable with this being ink. Get you down. I don't want you trading with them, but you just might end up doing that. Maui's not going to be able to... Just straight up attack into either Gaston. And Lumiere's. I mean, it only increases strength, so it's not like, it's not like I'm even inching this up to be better. Man, their whole board just dodging my big Sisu as well. Okay. I mean, I could just set up a Maui. And a get the Flynn. So we could do what? Flynn and Lumiere this turn. Next turn, drop the Maui and then Flynn's online. Doesn't really matter when you play Flynn, does it? But I need another game. All right. I have a feeling this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt because she's going to die. Stinky brawl. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. Yes, get out of here. You don't, you don't work either. Hoping to draw another ink. Play both. Still gets to quest. Pass turn. All right, Sisu's trading with a Gaston. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, those Gastons really put a, a wrench in things, didn't they? Now well, they got be prepared, ready to go. Almost a big Sisu. Sisu would be bad for us. I mean, technically I think Flynn survives if Sisu comes down because of Lumiere. Didn't draw an ink. That is incredibly unfortunate. Um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I really want to play Maui, so Flynn works. I mean, this only goes to four strength. This is only two strength. Like, I'm not, I'm not breaking any records here. 
Okay, we're inking it. Begrudgingly so. I got a quest here. At least we're winning on the quest front right now. What's that last card in your hand? Yeah, it's the Tommy boy. Not an ink. What is going on? Let's see if I can't find me an ink. I don't get to draw it. Bottom of the deck. I did. I failed to find. <laughs> All right, we're not doing so hot. Not that it would matter. I, I mean, yeah, it would. Lum Lumiere would make this six, so I would still. I would have the strongest thing. However, I can't play it. Uh, let's get bodies on board that can quest. Like, that's what it feels like it's coming down to. I'm just going to race. Double Tommies. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> that's not good. Finally got the other Gaston off the board. <laughs> oh, come on. Where's the ink? Where's the ink? Again, at least I can still quest. Uh, is this going to be fast enough? Let's assume they draw an item. Let's hope it's not a popsicle. And then these guys quest for four, so that's eight. Nine, they gain nine. Go to 15, which means I have to win on my following turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's possible, but I have to draw. Have to draw an ink. And again, we just assumed that they were going to draw an item. Which it appears that they have not. Crap on a cracker. <laughs> okay, their deck's in a much better position to just recover. So hopefully, well, that's not bad. <laughs> That's not terrible. Their top decks are phenomenal, though. Okay. No no Medusas. That's great. Not going to get a Flint Trigger, though. I mean... If I could get you down, that would be amazing. However... If I get you down and I ink you the next turn, I'm guaranteed a Sisu. Or I just play you and then we'll see if I have to ink you. Okay. Okay. So far, not that bad. Okay. Well, I'm not going to get Sisu down. I cannot get this Sisu to stick for the life of me. Okay. We're definitely going to get Sisu this time. <laughs> what do we give it? Evasive? Yeah, evasive. Thank you. Finally, let's get you down. I will quest. And then we can trade if you want. Crap, they're going to draw a character though. And then Flynn's still not going to be active. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> and I can't play this. I need two characters in play. All right, Flynn's just not going to do anything. Let's just quest. He's not going to do anything. Maui, however, could potentially win the game. Assuming they can't just squeeze out a victory here. Maui could just win the game. Let's see if we can do it. I need another action. That's not an action. Okay. Dang, so I'm only going to gain three lore. Oh, I'm only going to gain three lore. Take out grandma. I get gathering back. Play it. Gain three lore. Go to 19. Dang. Man, I got stopped at every turn here. Everything I played, they just had the answer or I failed to find ink and couldn't play out on time. There's nothing I can do. Let's start with the challenge. Uh, I should have challenged the dragon. I should have challenged the dragon. 
because then they can only quest for one. I've just, I've just, I got so distracted by not being able to just win this turn, I forgot to stop them from just winning, because that was also an option. I could, let's see, if I would have taken out the dragon, they could quest for one. Maui can't quest. I would still have the gathering knowledge and wisdom back, but I'd only go to 18, and then I would drop a Sisu, and then they would have to answer the Sisu. Actually, there was a chance I could have won this game, but I literally just threw it away. <laughs> I literally just threw it away. Yeah, okay, I would have won. I would have won! <laughs> okay, I could have- I, I would have won that game had I attacked the dragon. Wow, that's- that's wild. Good to know, though, like... This deck is still pretty good, knowing I could have actually beaten it. This deck is still pretty good. Could have, should have beaten it. I sh should have beaten it. Misplay right here. I'm good at misplays. Love going first. Okay, there's the Sisu. Don't need you, you're too expensive. I like that. Put you back as well. Huzzah. All right. It's- I still feel a little bit, like, disconjointed in these early turns. Not sure exactly what I need to do. Like, the early turns don't build into the Sisu plan. And I- I would like that a lot more if they did. Alright, let's quest here. We're not gonna give him up just yet. Pastor? Yeah, this is just like... Hey, we just want to do stuff. Let's make sure we're doing stuff. <laughs> okay. I really do like this card, actually. Like, it's not, it's really not the best, but I do like it. It's fun. But we're going to play CC. And I'm going to quest. And then I'm going to sack. To draw a card. Is this thing... Resist one. That's nice. Whenever this character banishes another character to challenge, gain two lore. Ooh, Lumiere in that deck too? I had no idea. Okay. Well, that's neato burrito, but... Resist one does not save you from this. And then... Get the CC online. This is a safe quest. Alright, dragons are on a roll. Oh, that's what I should have called the deck. Dragon's on a roll, because boss is on a roll. Sisu. Alright, well, don't be surprised if that's the title of the video. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's not safe to quest, because of Captain Hook. So... Whatever shall I do? But I, I have- I have the combo. Boss is on a roll into Sisu! I also have a, a Maui taking out Lumiere, which is also really, really good. Mm. <laughs> or I could take out Lumiere, play Sisu, banishing Captain Hook. Yeah, okay. It, it just takes a couple of seconds of thinking. <laughs> and then you're like, oh yeah, let's just take their whole board apart <laughs> and then I can safely do what I want to do not a dragon <laughs> bottom of the deck yeah here <laughs> next turn I'll have the combo uh, I still want to ink yeah let's ink Maui sorry Maui you're not a dragon son of a gun I wanted to sing bosses on a roll guess we're just gonna have to play it now I do have an option I could could draw some cards before Oop, I smack the mic could draw some cards I think I want to draw both of those <laughs> and then I'll leave the dragon there or maybe I draw these two so I have another card draw then there's a dragon put you in the bottom so I'm going to draw these two immediately, then Sisu will draw Sisu and possibly some other stuff. Man, I like, I like the, 
the decision point making. Okay, those two are out of the way, and now we west here. I definitely get one dragon, and I don't get another. Put you on the bottom. Stinky Flins! Yeah, the decision point is a lot of fun. I like, I really like thinking, like, planning things out, plotting. <laughs> that rush goofy is really good. 5-5 five, five evasive. Cost six, though. It's just so expensive. Thank you. I like, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I love getting more dragons. Let's ink you. Let's play you. Ooh, okay. That's a big evasive boy that beats, well, girl, who beats the goof. And I got another one, too. I have no ink! I could have ink. I mean, we play both of these. I don't get any banishes, but I do definitely make sure that Madam Mim does a thing. I mean, they're only... They're gaining three lore because of Goofy, actually. They're going to 10, 11, 12. And then I shot him down. I'm thinking about playing Sisu and casting Gathering Knowledge and Wisdom. I'll take us to 11, and then I'll have two Sisus to draw a bunch of cards, ideally. And then Madame M bounces them both back to my hand for safety, which then shuts down the Flynn goofy thing. Or I go Sisu Sisu. Stay at nine, but I'll still have the option for gathering, but I won't be able to do it next turn because I'll I'll be playing Madame Mim. But I'll I'll have the ability to quest with this this turn. Problem is, is that this will take it out. They'll, these guys will trade. Then they're going to go to 10, 11, 12, 13. And then I'll just have to bounce these both back to my hand. I mean, they both get a quest first. Yeah. At least this way I get a body off the board, right? Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's do that option. Let's quest here. I mean, Brawl gets rid of Flynn, but I don't get to draw it right away. Bottom of the deck. No ink. I need to play you, and I need to play you, and we will pass the turn. Now, there is an argument, like, for leaving Brawl on top. Son of a gun! What a top deck. I do not get to play Madame Mim. We just lost the game. <laughs> oh, gross. Yeah, this game is over. Son of a gun. Okay, what, what a, what a unlikely outcome that was. Madam M Dragon just still being just so difficult to make do anything. <laughs> okay. Well, I only got one chance of... I don't even know. No point in keeping you on the top, right? I can't do anything about you. Put you on the bottom. Alright. Well, we're dead. <laughs> we're dead. That, that just quests to the moon. Son of a god, what are the odds that they would draw exactly what they needed? Apparently pretty good. Apparently pretty stinking good. You stinking deck. <laughs>